is good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we're going to be discussing monday night raw and not necessarily the entire monday night raw because we all know monday night raw is in shambles right now right we're going to be covering what happened on monday night raw to an extent about bray wyatt yes guys the return of bray wyatt as we know it, this new gimmick that he's got going on, this new look that he's got going on, and you guys can see here, this is the closest thing that I have to that Bray Wyatt right now. I have the custom mask made by Last Smith. If you guys want a video on how to make that mask, I would love to know down in the comment section below. Let me fix my camera because I'm being a stupid idiot. So what happened on Monday Night Raw, guys, is Finn Balor, you guys know my boy Finn Balor, comes out there. He just recently lost the Intercontinental Championship. He loses the Intercontinental Championship. He comes out on Monday Night Raw, and out of nowhere, you know, he's just chilling, music playing. Out of nowhere, the lights go out. Out comes Bray Wyatt. It was done beautifully. The cinematography and the way they did it was absolutely perfect with the lighting. And he's just in the Sister Abigail. Hits him with the Sister Abigail. And it looks like we're going to be getting Finn Balor versus Bray Wyatt going into SummerSlam. Now, I have a few points about this. Some things I like, some things I don't like, and I know you guys are going to be upset with me, but just hear me out for a second. You guys will understand what I'm trying to say here. First of all, we know that Seth Rollins just recently lost his Universal Championship to the Beast in the Bank, Brock Lesnar. You know he cashed in at Extreme Rules, took the title off Seth Rollins. It's so boring. Like, my God, I'm sick of going around in circles and people are excited because... You know, they said that Seth Rollins' title reign was boring, but uh, that's WWE's fault. That's WWE's fault. He fought Trash Corbin three freaking times for the championship. Of course it's going to be boring. I try to tell you guys that he's boring, and then people are like, Seth Rollins was boring. No, it's because he took on Trash Corbin, who's absolutely trash and channel-changing worthy. But that's besides the point. That's not what we're trying to talk about. I'm just saying, if you don't take the title off of Seth Rollins, you could have had Bray Wyatt versus Seth Rollins for the Universal Championship if you never gave the money in the bank to Brock Lesnar in the first place. Or, if you're going to give the Money in the Bank briefcase to Brock Lesnar, have him cash in, win the Universal Championship as he did, you could have done Bray Wyatt coming out of nowhere, winning the Battle Royal, built up to him taking on Brock Lesnar, and have him win the Universal Championship. Since everybody loves this new character, they've done a great job of building him up. Finally, they debut him on Monday Night Raw. They finally did it. Thank God they needed to because it was, it was getting to the point where it was like, who cares if he debuts anymore because they waited so long. This guy should have been debuted at least a few weeks back. Maybe even a month ago, he could have he could have even debuted. But, you know, that's besides the point. He's here now, and that's okay. But he comes out, he attacks Finn Balor, and the first thing that I'm thinking, guys, is, oh, my God, they are totally thinking about going Demon versus Fiend or Demon versus this new character of Bray Wyatt. And it's it's pretty scary, guys, because Bray Wyatt is obviously going to be on a tear. The way they're going to book him is going to be very, very strong. And while I like that, Bray Wyatt has never been booked strong. I think that the Demon is very, very, very important, and I think it's one of the best gimmicks in wrestling today, and I think it should be protected at all costs. But while I say that, I know that they're going to say the same thing about Bray Wyatt, and that's why I don't like this as a first feud for either either guy right here. Uh, Vince McMahon has said before he wants the Demon to be a specific thing for SummerSlam, like he wants SummerSlam to be the big thing for the Demon and make that the Demon's thing. And while that's really awesome and everything, he's supposed to be booked really strong, and he is undefeated on the main roster. He's never lost a match on the main roster as the Demon. That's what makes me upset about this is I don't want Bray Wyatt to come in here and beat the Demon King, Finn Balor. I love Finn Balor. I think he's fantastic. I love Bray Wyatt too. But you guys know Finn Balor is my boy. I don't want the Demon to show up, take on Bray Wyatt, and lose at SummerSlam. Or maybe they can book it one way where both of them beat the absolute hell out of each other. That's the way I would book it is I would have, if this is the match you're going to go with, why not have Demon Balor versus Fiend Wyatt and have have them beat the hell out of each other so bad that, uh, or either they beat the hell out of each other so bad, or they disappear somewhere. I don't know. Like, make it mysterious, or make it where neither guy can continue, or make it where both guys get counted out, or do something like that, where neither of them take a pinfall. Neither of them can get a win over each other, and, and they go their separate ways or something. Because I really want the Demon protected, but I also want Bray Wyatt protected. That is why I don't like this, is because one guy's got to come out as a loser, and I know even if you make the Demon look incredible, I still think an L will hurt it, and I want the person that finally beats the Demon, I don't think they're around yet. I don't think the guy that can beat the Demon is, is on the roster, so I, I, don't, I don't like that for now. One thing that we also mentioned is Finn Balor joining the club. Now, that would have been a much better booking decision. Put
put him in the club, have him turn heel, and have him go on this little tear. Bray Wyatt is obviously going to be a heel, I believe. However, he is going to be cheered because everybody loves this gimmick, man. It's an awesome gimmick. It looks great. And I think that Bray Wyatt, the Demon King, Finn Balor, those two of the best gimmicks in wrestling today, and I love it because uh, they're so they have the mystique to them. You know, they're awesome. Unlike regular Finn Balor, where they've totally just made him look like a chump and an idiot, uh, they've kept the demon looking good, and he's he's overcome so many things. He's won championships. He's looked great um, on the main roster in NXT. They've done a fantastic job of keeping him looking strong. I wish they used it more often. I know that I want it to be mysterious, and you know, I want it to be rare when he uses it to an extent. But Jesus Christ, man, he hasn't even he finally brought it to WrestleMania when he could have worn at WrestleMania last year as well, won the IC title. But that's a whole other rant video right there where, where, the, where the demon has been used. The demon has been used more recently than, than last year, most definitely. But I want to know your guys' thoughts down below. What do you think? Do you like Bray Wyatt taking on Demon Finn Balor? On paper, it's a fantastic feud. I know it can be a fantastic feud. However, we saw this feud. It wasn't the demon versus this version of Bray Wyatt, but we have seen Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor, and it wasn't the greatest feud. We had the, remember, we had the blood dumped on Finn, and we had all that weird stuff stuff going on with Bray Wyatt and Finn Balor. I know they fought at No Mercy that one time. Finn Balor rocked the gray attire. But I don't know, man. I just do not want Finn Balor to lose here. I don't want him to lose to Bray Wyatt as great as Bray Wyatt is. I feel like a different feud would have been great for a first feud, but I know they're trying to get him on the card for SummerSlam, so I guess the best thing they could come up with was Demon King Finn Balor. But if we do this, I think that the winner of this feud is probably going to be thrust into the Universal Championship picture, and it's probably going to be Bray Wyatt because it's new, it's fresh, people love it. And if, you, if Bray Wyatt can't take a nail, he cannot take an L because of, you know, uh, he took an L as his old gimmick. He took so many L's that people stopped caring about him. So he had to go back in the lab, recreate himself, and here he is doing a fantastic job on television, and we can't ruin it. We can't, we cannot give him L's and have him lose to everybody. So I think uh, if they're going to go with this matchup right here, then they need to do a very good job of it, and they need to uh, make it, you know, special, and they, and they need to be creative about it, and it doesn't need to just be one guy gets the hell beat out of him. I've heard that maybe Bray Wyatt can beat Finn Balor, then have Finn Balor disappear for a while, and then come back and join the club or something, which I guess that would make sense, but at the same time, again, I just do not want Finn to lose. I don't want Bray to lose, so I'm in a tough pickle situation right now, and I would love to know your thoughts down below, guys. You guys know how I feel about Finn Balor. You may not care about Finn Balor or the Demon gimmick, and I understand that. That's that's fine. Everybody has their own opinions, but um, I really want both guys to be protected here. Regardless, I don't think that Brock Lesnar should have been Universal Champion. I think he should have kept it on Seth Rollins, given him a new opponent. Never had Trash Corbin feud with Seth Rollins. Should have kept him in the mid-card. You could have had better matchups for Seth Rollins going forward. You could have had Bray Wyatt versus Seth Rollins. You could have had anybody else versus Seth Rollins besides Trash Corbin, and I I think that's what ultimately killed his title reign and made it boring. Also, you had the cringy relationship stuff with Becky Lynch, and that ultimately led to Seth Rollins' title reign being somewhat boring. I love Seth Rollins, you guys know that, so it wasn't that boring for me. I just enjoyed seeing him with the strap. I enjoyed seeing him, you know, uh, I, I just enjoyed seeing him on Raw, even though they made him look like a bum. But that pretty much does it for today's video, guys. I cannot think of anything else I have to say regarding this. I did want to jump on here and show you guys the figure. I know you guys have seen this before, I think, with the custom championship. We had the custom Bray Wyatt Championship, which is absolutely sick, nasty farticles. And then we have the uh, we have the mask on there. It's just really, really sick. I hope we get an update of Bray Wyatt. We won't get one at SDCC. I know for a fact we're not going to get an updated Bray Wyatt this early. They may, there may be a, a render of an updated Bray Wyatt, but we're not going to see it for a while. So um, that's that's something that I'm not even going to think about. But SDCC preview night is tonight, guys. That means that I'm probably going to... This may be a triple upload day, if you guys know what I'm talking about. I have some stuff that may come in today that we may finally put up here on the channel. Maybe one of those videos will go up. And then tonight, we have SDCC preview night, where uh, there's, there's pictures and cameras that go through San Diego Comic-Con, and they're going to take photos of the new images of figures that we may see from afar, and we'll cover it here on the channel tonight. So have your bell turned on. Be ready for that notification. I'm going to upload that later. Also, a surprising video also coming later on today, most likely. So it could end up being a triple upload day. It could be one this morning, one this afternoon, and then one tonight. So be ready for that. It's going to be an awesome day of uploads. Tomorrow, we do have uh, more stuff coming on 
Slam. Tomorrow we have more stuff coming in, and then we have, you know, finally we're going to be revealed San Diego Comic Con. We're going to have some new figures to show off, so I'm super excited about that. Tomorrow will most likely be an, a double upload day as well, so that's going to be awesome. We're going to cover all the new figures, and then Friday will probably be the same thing. There's going to be a ton of figure news for you guys. There's going to be a ton of that good stuff coming on the channel, and I want you guys to see it and not miss out on it, so I would love to know down in the comment section below how hyped you are because I'm excited. We're going to see that Jack the Ripper Finn Balor. Is it going to have the right torso, or am I going to have to cry in the corner? We're going to see the new Elite Ziggler. We're going to see new surprises that we don't even know about, and I'm freaking hyped, man. I cannot wait, but that is going to do it for today's video, guys. Let me know what you think about Bray Wyatt versus Finn Balor down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.